Welcome to the Aviva video podcast. This week, Dee finished an eight-day training voyage from Portugal to the UK. She was eager for a variety of weather that she hoped would uncover any lingering problems with the new Aviva. What she got was what she hoped for, but it really tested her resilience. I've had fishing pots, shipping lanes, I've had mechanical problems, I've had electrical problems, I've had main cell problems, and um, I've had 40 knots and I've had zero knots of wind. So I've had all the extremes. Um, I left on Tuesday morning. The whole point is to spend some time on the boat so that um, I get used to us, because I've only really done my 1,000 mile qualifier. So I had uh, nine days to fill, and I will have done nearly 2,000 miles in that time. My first big issue was with the generator. They decided to pour um, oil everywhere and kept stopping. As you can see, my generator's had a little bit of an issue and decided to throw all its oil into the bilge, which was a pretty smelly, messy business. Um, I've had to communicate quite extensively with the shore team and um, find a way of getting around it so I can still charge my batteries to produce power for my comms and navigation. So it's a little tedious, but uh, we have worked our way around it and obviously this is an issue we need to look at as soon as I get back in. And then as I came up to the Bay of Biscay, it had some light weather and I looked out to see I was entangled in a massive fishing line. And so it took me about five hours to get myself free of this fishing line. And then I had some main cell pattern issues sorted out, which took a lot of energy, dropping the main and hoisting it again. On Saturday, I was just like, please tell me I can come into the cinema, give me the boat and get off. <laughs> it was just all frustrating, and I wasn't, I wasn't practicing what I should have been practicing. Sunday was such a nice day, and I kind of made a big effort to look after myself, because I know why I was getting upset, because I knew I was tired, I hadn't eaten properly and I've just been trying to problem solve. My, the least amount of sleep I've had is 80 minutes, and the most amount of sleep I've had in a 24 hour period is um, 160 minutes. So although it's frustrating, like Saturday was very frustrating, the more time I can spend doing this, the more aware of those things we are when I come in. So hopefully we're better prepared when we're then in a race situation. New boats in particular um, are, you know, full of teething issues, things, and until you go sailing, you don't know where those choke points are or that wear and tear is going to be. So the more time I can spend, although it's frustrating, the more aware of those things we are when I come in. So hopefully we're better prepared when we're then in a race situation. Having solved these problems at sea, Dee and her team feel that they've stepped up another level in the preparations for the Artemis Transat race to Boston on the 11th of May. Dee is raring to go on her first solo race in the new boat, and you can follow her at www.avivaoceanracing.com.